Have you ever experienced that feeling of just one more run in any roguelike games? What creates that addictive pull? Besides the obvious factors like art style and game feel, a major contributor, I believe, is a satisfying progression. Let's see how I made a satisfying progression for my upcoming game, Rogue Resonance, which, if you don't know, is a top-down action roguelike game. I would describe it as somewhat of a blend between Hades and Binding of the Isaac. It's on Steam, go wishlist it now. Okay, back to the topic. Progression in a roguelike is a bit different than other genres, since on each run you essentially start over. So, it would be better if we think of progression in terms of progression in a run versus overall game progression. First, let's see the factors that affect the progression in a run. Players should feel getting powerful as they progress through the run. To achieve this in my game, players can pick up these skills, which are broadly categorized into primary and complementary skills. Primary skills directly impact the various attacks players can perform, be it melee, spell, or dash. And as the players progress, they get higher rarity skills, which are stronger. Apart from this, we also have complementary skills, which are stackable, which can get really overpowered if you are lucky enough with the same cards in a run. But progression is not just about unlocking new skills, it's also about meaningful choices. After all, players should feel empowered to customize their playstyle based on their preferences and strategies. That's why I am giving this option to choose from three different skills on every reward pickup. This also adds depth and replayability to the game, as different combinations of upgrades can lead to vastly different gameplay experiences. Progression is also not limited to the player. It's also essential to have a variety of enemies with difficulty. So, I added these enemies. This mushroom enemy which chases the player and when close explodes. Then, we also have this mushroom mother, which throws those explodey mushrooms towards the player. Then, we also have this golem enemy, which is exclusive to the second area as it's a bit harder to deal with. It does this range AOE attack, and at close range, punches you. Now, to balance enemies with the player's progression, one approach would be to scale up the enemy's health and damage with difficulty. But instead, I chose to have a different set of enemies based on area. This can lead to scenarios where an enemy which took initially four hits can now be pacified in a single hit, which can really highlight the player's growth. Also, I think it's better to have simple enemies with two to three unique behaviors rather than to complicate it, since the player will be facing them in a group most of the time and it can get overwhelming really fast. Another obvious way to show the progression is to have visually different areas. Right now I have these two areas, but the complete game should have at least four to five distinct areas. Now as for the overall game progression between multiple runs, there is the option of permanent upgrades like in roguelites, but I don't want to go that route since it would make the game a lot harder to balance and scope will increase. Rather I am planning on narrative progression with multiple endings each, with different end bosses for the full game. There will also be some random quest encounters and so on. It's all work in progress, and a bit vague right now. But that's the idea for the complete game, at least for now. Overall, finding a right balance in progression and pacing is an iterative process with constant feedback. There's a reason why even larger game studios put a lot of focus in playtesting and early access, and that's why I am having a playtest right now. If you are interested in trying out the game and help me improve it, feel free to join my Discord server, links in the description. I also added a boss fight as well, two in fact, but let's keep that for the next devlog. Now, as I usually end these devlogs, the current wishlist at the time of recording is I appreciate all the support. If you haven't wishlisted the game yet, I would really appreciate it if you could take a moment to do so. It really goes a long way in keeping my motivation up as I continue developing this game. Anyway, that's it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and let me know your thoughts in the comment below. Thanks for watching.